Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Oh. I hope you're well Gemini. <laughs> it's interesting, the cards have just gone very energetic, so we'll see what we get for you. Possibly high energy situation maybe. <laughs> okay. So a couple more shuffles these cards are quite large but I don't really like shuffling the other way so this is the Druid Tarot deck another of my favorite tarot decks so I'm going to pull an overarching tarot card for you Gemini to see what the message is oh there we are okay we have the four of Pentacles so the Four of Pentacles is, is sometimes a person who has experienced financial or career loss in particular and they're terrified, they've, they've amassed um, a level of stability in terms of money, uh, advancement in terms of career, but there's a stuck energy about it. They are holding on so tightly to where they are that they're not advancing forward. Uh, this is about fear of the unknown, this is about um, a guarded energy, being guarded about moving forward in a situation in any aspect. It can be about what are you holding on to? What is stopping you from moving forward now? Yeah, because sometimes this can be about an energy that you need to break free of. Uh, the Four of Pentacles I sometimes call the Little Devil or the Earthly Devil card because it keeps you exactly where you are there's little advancement in this energy and even though there is some stability it's almost kind of like this person is self-sabotaging from moving forward and bringing greater success into their life whatever has stopped you from moving forward or if there is a guarded energy or fear in the unknown or all of this kind of energy it is time to be aware of that I'm going to pull one more card actually to go with that so let's look at a card to go with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Princess of Swords. I feel it is uh, liberating you from a situation that's keeping you stuck in some way. You know, that Swords energy. The, the Page of Swords is somebody who holds the Ace of Swords. So there is a liberation, a breakthrough. Um, can be a conversation, some communication, speaking your truth not holding back from a situation but also seeing the path cl clearly um, the page of the beginnings of something new or the beginnings of change that's what they herald and I feel for some of you there's a feeling of liberation from whatever is keeping you stuck yeah Okay, let's get some more cards, Gemini. So, what is the message? For Gemini, please, 16th to the 22nd of March, 2020. Sometimes it can be the way you perceive things as well. I will say there could be a change of looking at something that brings liberation or brings that new path, new insights, new clarities. Okay. Justice. So the intention here we have, um, the affirmation I should say, by the power of three by three, marked deliver justice to me. Some of you may have seen the truth of a situation and that's been difficult to or had some difficult news that has been difficult to move on from. Some of you may have gone through legal systems, justice systems where it might well be the truth is coming out. 
and that allows you to release from a situation that you may have you felt you've been holding on to interesting Gemini I'm going to pull one more card we've got friendship being to bring to me friendship true sharing laughter understanding too yeah understanding who your friends are and who they're not who are not interesting there's a real clarity that's coming and truth that's coming with that princess of swords truth sets you free Angels, what's the message for Gemini, please? What is the message for Gemini? Time is now. Everything happens when it's meant to happen interesting and I feel for some of you there is a, a change a new beginning a clarity that you're getting now this could be a change of mind as well and um, allowing yourself to see how to move on from a situation maybe and I, I just feel the time is now the angels are saying it's perfect timing everything's happening when it's supposed to happen I'm going to pull one more card. Yes. Yeah. You've got some really deep energies here, Gemini, so... But I do feel you're getting your head around it now. Okay. As I, as I cut the card in two, we have... The energies of clarity and truth here <laughs> yeah so it's obviously a poignant message okay okay we've got the five of swords this is the past position present position for Gemini king of wands your challenge there we are the devil and we have the little devil appearing so that doesn't surprise me as a challenge this does seem to be your challenge the advice from spirit we have the Queen of Cups yeah there's the new beginning the ace of Pentacles beautiful Gemini okay so I'm going to pull clarifiers for the cards on the table. Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have for Gemini? Can I have clarifiers for the cards on the table, please? 16th to the 22nd of March, 2020. Okay. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Let me pull one more card for that. Three of Cups. Okay. King of Wands, the present position, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Your challenge, the devil, yeah, two of Wands, the Queen of Cups, nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles, Gemini, beautiful, we have the Star card, your fellow Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have the card of good news. From difficult things, difficult truths, difficult news to deal with, there is good news going forward. Nice. Okay. It's interesting that the friendship came up because this can be about friendship. It can also be about people who you are emotionally connected to. There's a, a shared trust here. 
But for some of you, I feel that trust has been broken in some way. There's deception. There's lack of truth. And I feel there is conflict, arguments. Whatever this was or whoever this person or people were, I feel there is their broken trust. I really do. That's what I'm feeling as an energy. And you know, there's a victory here, Gemini. The Five of Swords is a card of victory. Uh, but it comes at a cost. It comes at a cost of friendship, relationships, um, respect. I mean, all of these kind of things. It is a difficult victory. And sometimes you're being told to choose your battles wisely. To be honest with the cards on the table, I don't think there was anything that you could do but um, deal with this situation in order to move on. Sometimes this can be about closure as well. Um, moving on, allowing yourself to move on from a situation that may have been deceptive uh, to new things, to manifesting the new. But I certainly feel with this energy, there could have been someone who you might have trusted that may have let you down in some way, shape or form. You know, we have the card of Leo here. So the cards on the table in terms of signs that may be of influence in your life. We have Leo, we have Capricorn. Um, Leo is very strong because you have the sun energy as well. So a Leo might be very strong for you. Uh, we have Aquarian energy. We also have Aquarian energy here too. Um, the Cancer card as well, the Queen of Cups. So those may mean something to you. A lot of Leo energy here. Um, if it's a person in your life, you know, sometimes the sun card can be about uh, letting go, putting something behind you. You might be taking action to put something behind you that has been challenging. Taking the lead in your life. Um, regaining your power from this victory. It has been a difficult victory. I feel it might be linked to this justice. Sometimes it can be earthly justice, earthly karma. Or it might well be a justice system. Whatever these energies were, I feel for some of you, you are putting it behind you. Uh, the sun energy can be about letting go, putting a challenge or overcoming a challenge. You see, there is a wall here which can sometimes represent a challenge, an obstacle, can also represent our own limitations, our internal boundaries. You know, and that's what you feel with the devil energy. You feel that with the four of, of pentacles. But you're, you're absolutely pushing through the barrier here. And there's a great feeling of breaking free as well with the Aquarian energy too. You know, that Aquarian energy is ruled by Saturn and also Uranus. So there's a real kind of like nice liberation of breaking free of ties here from a difficult situation of the past, taking a lead in your life. Now it might well be this King of Wands offers you an opportunity that promises new growth. Could be a Leo. But, you know, the Sun card is a card of good news, and we have that at the end as well. So I feel for some of you, um, I feel for some of you, Gemini, that there is some good news coming your way. Could be when you take action. It's almost kind of like the time is now. There is new potential, new opportunity, a new connection or a person that you may be meeting that promises growth. Um, good news, this is also a great card of material success and abundance coming your way too. But this is you find, both of these cards are in your natural power. Taking the lead, taking control. And it's interesting here because the challenge of the devil is keeping you powerless. Keeping you stuck. It's a great card of instability. This can be from toxic relationships, unhealthy partnerships, in whatever aspect. This can be in terms of power struggles. Uh, it's an illusion. It's a card of great instability, the devil energy. Some of you may have gone through a period of, of real instability. 
But you know, with that Ace of Pentacles being here, you are restabilizing your life now by the actions that you're taking. Because the time is now, you're being given blessings here. And certainly with this Devil card, I mean the Blessings card, the Star and the Ace of Pentacles, the, the Devil card is very much about something that keeps you small, something that makes you feel powerless, something that makes you feel chained to a situation. Um, there's a need to break free of old attachments in whatever form this was to this negative energy. And I feel for some of you, you are taking the steps to do that, or certainly that is your challenge, to take action, to move towards new horizons, new visions. This person doesn't fear on moving into the unknown because they know the unknown is exactly where they need to be. They are choosing between two paths, two crossroads. Sorry, two, two crossroads. <laughs> they're at a crossroad and they're choosing between two paths. Um, they have the world in their hands because they understand now by being in their own power, they can begin to take action to shape their world. They will be a participator in their life, a force to shape their world for the better by the actions they take, not allow the world or the people to shape them. There is a power dynamic that's changing here. It can be between choosing between two opportunities. It's also choosing what you want and what you don't want now. Understanding that you're in a, a stronger position than you realized. Some of you fell prey to the illusion for a while, but now you are absolutely waking up. This is a big awakening card where everything becomes clear. You know, the Queen of Cups, the card of Cancer, yeah, this can be an offer of love, Gemini, but you know, I just feel this is a big message and it might well be there's a person in your life i mean sometimes the queen of cups can be a really lovely mother motherly energy a real beautiful and um, caring connection that might be in your life full of compassion full of love for you that is helping you through a situation if this isn't the person then there is this is about finding that emotional centeredness from within it is deeply intuitive as well I'm kind of not feeling new love. Obviously, it could be for some of you. There could be a new connection coming into your life. I feel this is more about mastering your emotional situation that you've been through, being in control with your emotions in order to stand in your true light, bringing greater value into your life, feeling restored in your own energy. There's a real nurturing energy between both of these cards. This is, about, this is a Virgo card as well, so there's a really healing energy. As there is in the sun, a restorative energy that's been going through this reading, restoring yourself in your own power, but also your own value. This is somebody who wants to stand on their own two feet. They're not dependent on a relationship that may be codependent, that may be addictive, that has been difficult to break free of. I certainly feel for some of you that this is about taking the steps that you need to take to focus on your own stability, on bringing greater value into your life, even monetary success now, um, in your own right, by finding that self-love and inner stability, emotional stability from within. Also, there's a highly intuitive energy associated with this. <coughs> As I said with the King of Wands, or you know, certainly with the Page of Wands, there could be a new connection, a new opportunity, certainly new potential now to bring greater stability into your life. That is the Ace of Pentacles. And that star in the middle of the pentacle is a gift from the universe. You know, so it's interesting that we've got the star card and also the star in the center of the pentacle because you're being given a gift. There is powerful divine guidance on this journey with you. Counterpart of the Queen of Cups is the Chariot. So the Queen is somebody who masters her emotions from within. The Chariot is somebody who understands how to master the emotional situation they've been through to bring victory and success into their life. And I feel that there is some synergy here as well to open up to a new beginning, new opportunity. This is very good in terms of finances, money, news on mortgages, loans, investments. Um, it says that if you put in the hard work, focus your practical skills, knowledge and experience towards this, 
it will bring you great growth. And you know, this is an energy of growth as well. It is a, the star is a card of hope. And it comes after the Tower card in the Major Arcana, when everything has been raised to the ground, the star appears to bring new hope, new growth, a reconnection to self, Gemini, to stand in your own light again, and to find the direction forward. I feel for some of you there is a new path unfolding. You are breaking free of old chains here old cycles because the star like I said it's ruled by Capricorn and also um, not Capricorn sorry uh, Saturn and also Uranus so the Aquarian energy understands how to work within boundaries but also when to break free of them and I feel for some of you there is a new beginning opening up because you understand when you get full clarity how to break free of situations from the past in order to move forward and I feel there is absolutely now a new beginning unfolding for you this could be a good news now this could be you know a new connection coming into your life with the ace of pentacles this could be a new offer or opportunity coming into your life it promises growth you know the, the one's energy a growth the growth energies um, when you take action when you channel your own power, your desires, your passions, uh, you find that drive again. This again is a new beginning, uh, the beginnings of change for some of you. But it can re represent good news, as can the sun energy. Things begin to open up for you on a new level when you allow yourself to break free of what this was. Powerful. Powerful, Gemini. Okay, what's the message for Gemini, please? Yeah. Kind of stands to reason, this card. Transformation. The fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Yeah. And that's what you're being told to do. Dare to dream. Dare to hope. Because for some of you, there is something that is more solid, secure and rewarding when you focus your energies towards that new path, having broken free of old attachments, old patterns, old ties, old ways of thinking. That could be old friendships. Um, I mean, you kind of get what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so powerful message. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Gemini, and I will see you later. Thank you.